Can Dom Hughes give the Panthers the win? In walk-off style. Smoke down the right field side and it's a base hit and Dominic Hughes drives in the game winning run in the bottom of the seventh inning and the improbable comeback victory in the bottom of the seventh inning for the Gold Panthers gives them their first win of the season. And my goodness, the Panthers walk off the Oilers in a bizarre game that was ugly for much of it. And the Oilers took a 5-2 lead into the seventh inning and the Panthers rally to win it 6-5 with a four-run bottom of the seventh. Dominic Hughes, the game-winning hit after Tate Shamau's two-run triple. And the Panthers win it 6-5. How do you like that? Gold Panthers get their first one of the year. And they look to clinch the series tomorrow night against the Oilers in another seven-inning game. Right here at 6.30 tomorrow night. And now he's going to try for third. Here comes the throw. And it's there and out at third base. Is Peyton for the second out of the inning. Absolutely crushed to left by Sean Rimmer. <laughs> You're welcome. The rim shot on the second avenue gives the Gold Panthers a 3-2 lead. And absolutely no doubt when that one came off the bat. A monster blast over the left field fence here at Groudon. And he Pies, Sean Rimmer, the All-American, gives the Gold Panthers the lead. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the New pitcher into the game for the Alaska Gold Panthers of Fairbanks Again, is the okay. Fairbanks native Andrew Trotman out of Clark College in Ottawa. The sophomore Andrew Trotman, 6'3 right hander, takes the mound here in the Midnight Sun game in front of his hometown fans. And he steps into a very hot kitchen. The bases are loaded for the waves with one out. Andrew Trotman making his fifth appearance. He has thrown a total of seven innings, giving up just one run. Gets the honor of pitching here in the Midnight Sun game in a big situation. And he deals a strike to Zuba. It has been a tight but consistent strike zone tonight. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. And the lights are on in the press box. But they will not turn on outside the press box. The one two pitch from Trotman to Zuba. Get some swinging. Second out. On the longest day of the year, 
the summer solstice on June 21st. And we're playing baseball in Fairbanks. Just misses inside. It's 2-0. and oh. The waves have quieted down this crowd a little bit here in the sixth inning. It's chopped right side to his left. Goes Harrison to make the play on the 4-3 put out. That ends the top of the sixth. I was walking down the street on a sunny day. I feel it in my bones as I have my way. I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy boy. Oh, where did it get when things are going your way? Hey, hey. My little dog spot got hit by a car. Put his guts in a box and put him in a drawer. Well, I'm a happy boy. Well, I'm a happy boy. Oh, where did it get when things are going your way? Hey, hey. in the drawer and started to laugh. Cause I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy boy. Oh, ain't it good when things are going your way? Hey, hey. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Agnew. Line to left to base it. Around third comes Clark. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time! Clark scores! Brock Rudy wins it for the Gold Panthers in the bottom of the 10th inning. And the Gold Panthers storm the field. They win the Midnight Sun game at 39 minutes past 1 in the morning. An improbable, magical win for the Gold Panthers here in 2022. An emotional roller coaster comes to an end here at Fairbanks at Crowd Memorial Park. Another incredible ball game in the Midnight Sun game. The head coaches shake hands around home plate, and the Panthers win it 10 to 9. Matthew Pinal is your winning pitcher. Tyler Agnew takes the loss. And Brock Rudy does it again for the Gold Panthers. The winning RBI single to score. Caden Clark in the bottom of the 10th. San Diego no, getting two runs in the sixth the to climb Number closer. 16, Drew Beasley. Just gonna work in their tails off again here tonight. Another foul Heads ball in the seats. Heads up. Big Daddy's barbecue supplying the cold beverages and some food tonight. They got a food truck that here. Foul ball probably sponsored by Big Daddy's barbecue. There you hear it, Big Daddy's barbecue. So the intentional walk to Rudy will load the bases and that puts the winning run at first base. And they're going to take their chances with Rafael Flores. So the sophomore out of Anaheim, California from Rio Hondo. Will stand in against Brady Schrank. How about the drama here tonight? Another 2 2 on the way. And he hammers this one deep to left. It's carrying. It's back. And it's gone. A grand slam walk off home run for Rafael Flores. The Panthers win it over the Pirates. And they celebrate at home plate. Oh. Raph 
Rafael Flores with the bomb on the second avenue. Can you believe it? A dramatic come from behind victory for the Gold Panthers as they rip the hearts out of the Ventura County Pirates here in game six. Hit high into right field as he's swinging away. Down the line, it's a fair ball. Caught by Clark, runner tags from third. Here's the throw, and he's out at the plate. Inning over. Peyton can't believe it. Neither can Armando Gomez, who runs down the line to make his feelings known with umpire Dwayne Clemens. And the 2-2 to Dobson. Swing and a miss, he strikes out Dobson. No harm done on the leadoff walk. Good work for Alexander in the top of the first. No runs, no hits. Big thanks to our Pantervision engineers on the road trip, Danny Vaziri in Grand Forks, Alexis Friedman in the Tacoma area. Strike three called on Marquez. We're gonna have to do that again, it was just amazing. Swinging a foul tip into the glove of Flores. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the inning for Alexander. Good start for Coley Strands, a leadoff double. For the Cole Valley Alexander Pirates. has pitched Number very 11, well. He allowed a leadoff walk in the first. Nobody got past first in the inning. Leadoff double in the second. That runner was stranded at second. He has struck out four through two and a third. And used to be home to the North Pole Knicks baseball team. This one is lined into right center field for a base hit. Alexander drives one into center and all the way over to third goes Remmers. Pitching for the Inland Valley Pirates tonight is Wyatt Johnson, number six Wyatt Johnson out of Cal State Fullerton. And the first pitch is ripped down the right field line by Brock Rudy, your new leadoff hitter for Fairbanks. He drives it into the corner and Rudy on the first pitch doubles down the right field line. Runners at second and third with two outs, a one-two pitch to Hughes. Reaches down, a little bloop, but going back and unable to reach up to it is McKinney, the first baseman. One run comes in to score. Here comes Shamal right behind Rimmer and a little bloop down the right field side by Hughes and he drives in a pair. It's three nothing gold panners. Runners at second and third with two outs, a one-two pitch to Hughes. Reaches down, a little bloop, but going back and unable to reach up to it is McKinney, the first baseman. One run comes in to score. Here comes Shamal right behind Rimmer and a little bloop down the right field side by Hughes and he drives in a pair. It's three nothing gold panners. And Isaac Shook will get things started, followed by Blake Hiraki and Marty Munoz. And this one is hit hard and deep to left field off the bat of Shook, and it's on to Second Avenue. A solo home run for Isaac Shook, and it's six to two. And the crowd right back into this one. Sixteenth home run for the Gold Panthers this summer. And there goes the runner, swing and a miss, throw to second base, is right there. Does Munoz get the tag down? He does. Caught stealing goes 2-6. Hiraki to Munoz, second out of the inning. This one is going to drop into left center field, a base hit for Milliken. Hiraki scores. Here comes Munoz behind him. The throw to third misses and goes to the Panther dugout. And around comes Rudy. He will score. It is a 6-5 game. The Panthers are right back in it. All the way to third goes Milliken on the play. But... Uh, don't know if he's going to be here. This one's got to pass the diving Munoz into left field. Ball is scooped by Rudy. Runner is waved home. The throw to the plate is there. The tag is down and out at the plate is Batten. What a throw from Brock Rudy. And a great catch and tag from Hiraki. Sharply hit, what a stab at second. The glove flipped to the bag, on to first. The 4-6-3 double play 
Milliken with another highlight reel. And the 3-1. Off the fists, and it's a little flare, and a diving catch by Milliken. What a play to save some runs. San Diego Waves here next. They're off to a good start. Runner takes off. Here's the throw to second base. Oh, it's on the money. What a throw from Shuck. The tag by Harrison. Caught stealing. Ends the top of the fourth. It's 6-0 Pirates. With a double, couple runs batted in and some runs scored. He hits this one high and deep down the left field line. And this one is over the fence for a home run. Matthew Pinall, a two-run shot here in the first inning. And just like that, the Gold Panthers are in front two to one. Wasn't sure if it had the distance. And it crept over that left field fence over the sourdough transfer sign. Falzone goes this time, and the pitch is called strike three, the throw down to second, and they got him there too, a double play. 3-2 pitch, called strike three. Fastball right there at the letters, and the goal panners, Vasquez, looks very good. At Yavapai College in Arizona, playing for ex goal panners coach. Miles Kaiser, and we'll head to the Universities of Hawaii as some of these other players are too. This next pitch is lined in the right field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Milliken scores. Here comes Rudy. He's going to score as well. Rimmer's on first with a single, and the goal panners have an early 3-0 lead here in the bottom of the first. Rimmer gets his lead from second. Klaus from first. 2-0 pitch is hit up in the air to left center field. That's hit pretty good. The center fielder goes a long way, but he can't get it. It's one hopped up against the wall. Rimmer scores, Klez comes into third and holds there. Alexander's at second with a stand-up double. And the goal panners lead it four to nothing. Shamal gets his lead from third. The next pitch to Rudy is a fastball that's lined fair down the right field line just inside the bag. Rudy hooks it inside the corner. That gets hung up down in the bullpen in right field. Rudy will stay at second though with a double. And the goal panners have a nine to nothing lead. Snapped his bat in half on that foul ball. So a uh, couple of pitches into this Brad. trip to Fairbanks and uh, he needs a new lumber. It's not the only uh, lumber that's broken in half in the last 24 hours. Crazy winds here yesterday reaching 45 miles per hour. As Vasquez misses way inside three and one. Knocking out power for much of Fairbanks yesterday. Most people have their power back, but a lot still don't. Trees coming down all over town, power lines down. Here's a chopper up the middle and a backhanded stop by Harrison who turns and throws and makes a great play to throw out Berrigan for the first out of the ball game. Harrison running to his right and then throwing and the for the Star to Pinal at first base. And it's hit high and deep to left. This ball is carrying back. It's going back, and it clears the wall in left center. Caden Clark with a two-run home run ties the game for the goal panners. All even at five. New ball game. Clark drives one. To deep left center. The 2 0 is lined to right center. This one's going to carry and one hop the wall in right. Harrison on his way to second. He's going to try for three. Here comes the cutoff. Not going to beat him. Harrison with a two out trip, trip, triple. Here in the sixth inning. <laughs> Through the left side, Milliken, a base hit. Hughes will come around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Ball is there, but it comes out of the glove of Knight. And the throw to third, runner safe there. Boy, what a throw from Strickler. The ball actually beat the speedy Dominic Hughes, but it comes out of the glove of the catcher, Taylor Knight. Hiraki with 
Gold at the corners. A liner into the gap in left center. Hiraki drives in Kless. Milliken's gonna be waved around third. He will score. Hiraki's gonna try for three. And he slides in head first safely. He was almost gonna be thrown out. It looked like David Noah was gonna call him out, but the ball came out of the glove of Nunez. We go to the eighth inning here at Groudon under sunny skies, a windy, chilly night here at Fairbanks. And the new pitcher into the game to start the eighth is number 37, Ethan Remmers. Strike three called. Remmers, Kays, Nielsen. Strike called, it's one and two. Then Idaho versus the Utah Marshals at 12.30, and the Panthers on Wednesday will play at 4.30 p.m. And he strikes out Taylor Knight. We're out number two, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Remmers to open up the eighth inning. The payoff pitch. Called strike three, Ethan Remmer strikes out the side here in the eighth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. That's 14-3 Panners. The 2-2 to Flores. Line to left, a base hit. Hiraki scores. Here comes Munoz. He'll beat the throw home. And both runners go to second and third. It's 9-6 Gold Panners. Rafael Flores drives in a couple of more. Lines one up the middle and through. A base hit. Rudy scores. Flores tries to evade the tag, but he is thrown out at home by Marquez. So the intentional walk to Rudy will load the bases. And that puts the winning run at first base. And they're going to take their chances with Rafael Flores. So the sophomore out of Anaheim, California. From Rio Hondo. Will stand in against Brady Schrank. How about the drama here tonight? Another 2-2 on the way, and he hammers this one deep to left. It's carrying, it's back, and it's gone! A grand slam walk-off home run for Rafael Flores! The Panthers win it over the Pirates, and they celebrate at home plate. Rafael Flores with the bomb on the Second Avenue. Can you believe it? Into left center field, a base hit by Flores. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. In to score is Rudy. Here comes Pinal. He will score without a throw. The gold panners brought the lumber to Fairbanks. But. Uh, don't know if he's going to be here. This one's got to pass the diving Munoz into left field. Ball is scooped by Rudy. Runner is waved home. The throw to the plate is there. The tag is down and out at the plate is Batten. What a throw from Brock Rudy. And a great catch and tag from Hiraki. And now he's going to try for third. Here comes the throw. And it's there and out at third base is Peyton for the second out of the inning. Three and two, two outs, runner at first, Shamal swings and pops this one down the right field line. It'll drop for a base hit. Getting a glove on it was Garcia, unable to make the catch. Shamal for second base, gets in with a double. Boy, good effort by Garcia. Didn't think he had a shot at it, but he dove for it and did get glove on it, just couldn't squeeze it. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Agnew. Line to left, a base hit. Around third comes Clark. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. Clark scores. Brock Rudy wins it for the Gold Panthers in the bottom of the 10th inning. And the Gold Panthers storm the field. They win the midnight sun game at 39 minutes.
minutes past one in the morning. An improbable, magical win for the Gold Panthers here in 2022. An emotional roller coaster comes to an end here at Fairbanks at Crowd Memorial Park. Another incredible ball game in the Midnight Sun game. The head coaches shake hands around home plate and the Panthers win it 10 to nine. Matthew Pinal is your winning pitcher. Tyler Agnew takes the loss. And Brock Rudy does it again for the Gold Panthers. The winning RBI single to score. Caden Clark in the bottom of the 10th. 17th edition of the Midnight Sun game.